Okay, I'm learning a lot today. I really am. This is amazing. This is great. I hope you're ready to learn more. I am. Uh -oh. As we move on, uh, Apple had an event today. What, how did the announcements they had today, uh, how would they pertain to gamers? They announced iPad Pro, this gigantic iPad. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's 12.9 inches. That's as powerful inches as their laptops, they're saying. I end, I end almost every evening holding my iPad in bed playing Hearthstone, and this is gonna be, this is just gonna, like, gonna crush me. Like, I know it's like the same, it's like the same weight as the original iPad. Uh -huh. Don't drop it on your face. Yeah, it seems If really you're big. playing, if you're not playing a lot of games in your iPad now, then I don't see why you need a more powerful iPad to play them. No, I mean, the, the iPad, games you're playing are simple, right? The iPad Pro, I'm sure games will look gorgeous on it and, you know, be very fun and good, but it's, it's not really, that particular device isn't specifically being targeted towards the consumer. It's meant to be an enterprise product, that's mm -hmm. why they announced the Apple Pencil, you know, um, use it in a business setting is the intention. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's why they trotted out Microsoft too, yeah. to talk about it. Um, Productivity, in the most Adobe boring segment of the thing, they put poor Microsoft out well, there. Well, they're just showing that you can have two apps open at the same time yeah, now that's for great. the first yeah. time, and you know, just different. None of that stuff's yeah. flashy, but it's like important if you're, you know, trying to use a tablet. They, they basically like showed that. off a console, though. They showed off the Apple TV, the Apple TV, Access no. App, yeah. App Store, right? That was a much bigger. And it piece has of a unique controller. It needs probably a game controller too, but it has a Wii style controller. With yeah. a wrist strap, so, it has a wrist strap. I'm actually device. really surprised yeah, your, your by the Apple TV announcement. Uh, there's been rumors, rumors so yeah, for a new years. model of the Apple TV. Just yeah. so, if anyone hadn't heard, new model yeah, of the Apple TV. New model of the Apple TV, and the big difference is, if you buy an Apple TV today or you buy the old Apple TV, it comes with you know 100 apps, and that's it. Like you mm -hmm. can't download more, you can't get rid of the ones you have. It's just preloaded with the software. But now the new Apple TV has an actual app store where you're going to be able to download games and apps and other things, is uh, my understanding. Mm -hmm. um, so, and they're opening that up to games. And the new, the new, what do they call it? The Siri remote. Yeah, it I has think. a Siri button, which they used, and it was kind of interesting. But yeah, basically, they, I think they even showed somebody with it on its side, yeah. using the as a touchpad on it. It's got a few it's buttons on it and a touchpad, and it got so you can use like a Wii remote to point. Yeah. You can use it uh, as a touchpad on the top. It, does it have pointing too? Because it doesn't have an IR sensor. It's it oh, yeah, maybe it's via just, Bluetooth. It's I think pointing, it's just motion. smart pointing. Like it doesn't need to have uh, mm. the, the the field or anything yeah. to do it. I mean, I, but it also has a little touchpad cordoned off on it, made out of touch glass yeah. or whatever they call it. And then they should somebody have that on the side, kind of using it as a game controller. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a big big fan of mobile games. Still play a lot of mobile games. Still playing, you know, Treasure Cruise every night, other games every night. Um, I wasn't especially impressed with this TV announcement. I was expecting more. I was expecting a bigger splash. Uh, games make so much money for Apple and so many other companies that it didn't feel, you know, no controller, no real. I mean, they had Harmonix so, showing off a decent product, but like no real big killer app. Like this is the reason if you're a gamer that mm -hmm. the Apple TV you should consider. Getting Disney it. Infinity is coming to it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. motion controls. Motion controls feel at least three years late. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't know. Oh, motion control. I mean, nobody's gonna play Boombox on it. I mean, that's Boombox is so good. Boombox is really good. Really good. <laughs> Needs a sequel. Boombox. There is was so... a Boombox too. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's wait. There's, there's a Boombox, Boombox too. Yeah, yeah, there's a sequel to Boombox. Really? What Came was out it like? like a year yeah. 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 Pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah good. I own it. I'm both really good. You can play it. All right. So first of all, I think it supports the same controllers that like the iPhone does. They call it. They call it IMF, IMF controllers that uh, you okay. can sync up with your... I don't, have much of right. but so it, I don't know what that stands for. I, try, I couldn't figure it out. So monitor. I think you can sync those with the, the new Apple TV to use those controllers. Yeah. But until Apple puts the muscle of its, of its own branding behind a controller, until they're like, here it is, guys. This is it. This is how yeah. you're going to play games this thing. It's not going to happen. And I'm not sure they're interested in it. It's what I want to see. They're it's what I want to play. Well, I know they're interested in games. Are they mm. interested in controller-based games? Do they want to... Do they want... To, do they regard that as a market, market fragmentation for themselves? I mean, maybe they want people playing this kind of game and that kind of game and nothing else on their hardware because, you know, I flew on a plane this week and I watched kids playing video games. And uh, It's really creepy to hear that. <laughs> and I don't think it looked very, very not creepy either while you did it. Well, it, it probably did not. Jared on the plane. I was just like, hello, like children. peeking around from behind the chair. I'm just um, doing research for work. I'm going on game <laughs> No, I was, uh, I, was positioned in the, uh, it, I was positioned in the middle of a family that were flying to Orlando at one leg of the flight. They were on their way to Disney World. You split up a family? Uh, I did. I was right in the middle of a family. <laughs> Why didn't you uh, offer to move? But well, actually, they yeah, wanted me there. Uh, was, I think that somebody the was mad like, at please, guys. Uh, please yeah, sit in between me and my children. That's really kind of what it was. You know and, how it is. Yeah, um, I was originally on the on the window, and they're like, "Do you mind sitting on the aisle?" And I was like, "Sure, I love the aisle." So I moved and sat. That was the place to be. But yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, so, it, so it was the one. absolutely the aisle. You're, you're, you can get to the bathroom quicker. You don't have to stick your butt in anybody's face. It's a great place to be. More mm -hmm. room. 
Anyway, Candy Crush for the grown-ups. You can and, take apple juice off the cart. And kids playing touch <laughs> games <laughs> and contentedly playing know. and all throughout all the flights. And that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it, but I wonder if Apple's just like, you know, maybe, maybe we figure our audience is going to be happy. By and large, the, the bulk of the people we're after are going to be happy with this controller and that controller. Maybe no, that's I mean, the future of gaming in their mind is is something very different than here's, two sticks and eight buttons. Here's what they should have done. The a, the Apple TV is a hundred bucks. I, I think, think the new one's like one sixty. Is it a lot more? Yeah. So they should have said you can get an Apple TV and you'll have all these apps and all this other stuff for hundred and sixty bucks. For two hundred bucks, it comes with a controller and it comes pre-installed with these three games. We have a game from Epic. We have you know a game from you know I don't know Nintendo. Like here are these games that you can get on your new Apple TV. Like why not? That does present a lot of interesting and possibilities. It comes with, and it comes with, with Nintendo controller. making mobile games in the near future. Yeah. Well, sure. Maybe Nintendo's a bad example, but no, like, no, you know, I know it's a great example. But I mean, whoever plays ball, like we have these, we have a really high-profile game from Epic and EA and GameLoft with this controller. Can yep. you even port touch games to the with the touch-based pad that they showed? That oh. seems hard to do anyway. Well, I mean, a lot of the games. So the games that I guess work, just one button taps a lot of the them. games that work with. The controllers right now are usually games that have virtual D pads, like you know, I don't mm. know, like Mikey Boots or a game like that. That's got like a D pad mm. and an A B button that's just Im- superimposed so on the screen that, right now, and they just pull that off onto a. They controller. showed that racing game, Asphalt, right? Yeah. So it, you just use tilt controls for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you, we mentioned uh, Disney 3.0, and then Crossy Road mm-hmm. is yeah. coming with a new multiplayer mode, and then also Guitar Hero Live. Yeah. So how is that going to work with just, so Guitar Hero Live with no instruments? Not sure how that'll work. I don't know how that. I did. The band just gets mad at you, right? <laughs> you <laughs> suck. <laughs> you suck. I mean, I, I, Siri, I don't know. do I suck? <laughs> yes, they did. There's a long history of companies not wanting to be game companies, but then gaming. They end up. They sort of back into it. Like it happened yeah. on Facebook, where they're like, "Hey, we have this thing called Facebook Canvas, and people can make apps now on Facebook, and it's going to be awesome." And then, sort of unbeknownst to them or unintended to them, it turned into a games platform, and the app store turned into the same thing. All the biggest apps are all games. Mm-hmm. And then these companies are left kind of strunk, str- scrambling to figure out. They're making money hand over fist, but scrambling to figure out this space that they're not native to. Um, I don't know. Uh, so what I'm getting at is, you know, bet against Apple at your own peril. Like, <laughs> they're the, one of the most valuable companies yeah, on nice. Earth. Um, but I wasn't especially impressed with Apple TV as a gaming device today. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I don't think they were trying to sell us anything, Justin, honestly. I think that, I think that presentation was was meant for an entirely different group of people. When they showed the iPhone uh, success, they said that it had console power. Did you see it? Like for the mm. uh, iPad, they said it was like the processor was oh, a desktop, la- power. desktop pa- like level. Mm. Yeah. Like in terms of power, and they used the comparison for iPhone was console. Interesting. That, was mm-hmm. that is interesting. And then they showed like a really kind of generic looking brawler game for it. Mm. There was like a mech running around shooting. Didn't look good. Was yeah. War- Warhammer, yeah. Was that Warhammer? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. It was a Warhammer, Warhammer game, yeah. Was that the one about rats? The Warhammer no. game. Did you about hear about that? Rats. I didn't hear about that. Uh, and then finally, um, for the new iPhones, they have a new, a new input. It's a game we wrote about. A new input method. Uh, it, 3D touch, is what yeah. they're calling it. Mm-hmm. It, it can sense pressure. Yeah. So if you press more deeply on the screen, it brings up a context-sensitive menu depending on the app that you're in, for example. And there could be applications for gaming for input, yeah. you know, as an input method for Absolutely. certain games. I, I have the, the new MacBook with the, like the, the trackpads like that. Mm-hmm. It has like multiple pressure levels that you can click on. Mm-hmm. And like none of it's implemented in software right now. It's like very few things that that actually works with. Like some stuff in Safari, but I don't really use Safari. So I'm, it's nice to see that plus an operating system mm-hmm. that like builds. Three D touch. Builds in. I mean, as with all this stuff, we need to get hands on it to see whether it's truly a big deal or not, or whether it's kind of a gimmick. But my sort of initial snap judgment, having not actually had a chance to test it out, is that it seems like it truly will change the yeah. way that people. You know are how it is yeah, when, you, it's, when you have to hover over an address. And then open it in a new tab. Yeah. Like, I hate doing that. Yeah, it's, just giving, super it's, annoying. it's giving you a right click, uh, mm-hmm. it, just interface wise. It's giving you a yeah. second degree, a second ability to do something. But it's also, I mean, in gaming, something similar has been tried before. Uh, the original Street Fighter for arcade had pressure sensitive buttons on it uh, the punch and kick button. It depended on how hard you hit the button as to whether Not you Street got Fighter a light too, or heavy. Street no, Fighter. the original Street Fighter. And it broke all the, you know, it broke the hardware. Uh, that that was it didn't work because the hardwood Cade hardware wasn't made to be durable. There's a punch out a version of Punch oh. Out that's like that too. The, punch oh, Out no. Arcade. Really? I didn't I realize. I think so. No, no, it's not. It, the problem with Punch Out Arcade is that it is a unique, interesting button, 
and people wanted to hit it really hard, okay. and it broke all the time. Yeah. It, it wasn't perfect. I didn't. Know, yeah, I, just, I didn't know that. The, the Street Fighter one is actually big pads. Yeah, yeah. The Street Fighter one that you present. We used to. Well, they made a buttony version one too, oh, really? and, and that one. But there was precious. a pad one, right? I crazy. think there was. Yeah. No, I don't think you're crazy. Um, <laughs> anyway, you hit these buttons, to, but. Okay, so that arcade stuff didn't uh, didn't work out very well, but Apple's going to engineer this thing to be durable. So there are probably ways for ideas like that to rise back up to the surface. Having oh. pressure sensitive uh, input for games would be really. It's weird that you went to that in, insanely obscure example when the PlayStation uh, Two or Three. I get my generations mixed up, but that DualShock has pressure sensitive buttons. Yeah, the, yeah, the Three does. I, yeah. I forgot about that. The, for uh, that's how you play GT, right? Is you have the it ended up being buttons. not that popular. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily see there being a lot of gaming uh, uses here. I think it's just cleaning good, up. Good. Like the more and more yeah, complex and complicated these UI. operating systems become, it's it's going to clean up the UI. I, I think. Mm -hmm. Totally. 